Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9 No Thrills. So we're going to carry on from where we were in the last episode. This is part two of two, right? So make sure you go watch the first episode first, otherwise this is going to make no sense. Um, but yeah, we're going to carry on, uh, and I think I'm going to tack on to the end of this, us getting some Insanium Bees and Awakened Supremium Bees. So... By the way, I get really confused doing all of these bees, and you'll see it throughout this episode. Just bear in mind, I do figure it out throughout the episode, so watch until the end <laughs> for me to actually figure out my, my mistakes. I'm going to leave all the mistakes in, because I think it's worth showing my mistakes and showing how I deal with them. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, let's crack on with the episode. This one over here is going to be where the Magentite goes, or the Ludocrite. Ludocrite? Yeah, Ludocrite. And then we need Ridiculite after that, which... Oh, we need to get some Magentite. I knew we needed this somewhere. And I don't think you can just make this, can you? How the heck do I make the... the... Oh, you can. There's a Magentite B? Magen... How the heck do you make this? Okay, how the heck do you make this? Okay, you make a magentite block. Right click it on a plutonium B, and then you get magentite B. Gotcha. And then you need another one. Okay, makes sense. Uh, how do we get a magentite block? <laughs> uh, let's have a look. We might not need this, if I'm honest. Because we only need one ridiculite block. Okay, anyway, uh, has this taken all of the bees yet? No, not yet. Cool, so that just gave me a Ludicrite bee. And we're going to capture it. We're going to put it in here with one of our Metaternal, uh, any very high treat things that we've got. And then I will plonk that in here. And then we'll get a load of uh, Ludicrite. That'd be good. Now, Magentite is going to be a little bit of a pain, because, um, why do we need to fluidize it? That's very odd. You can't make it any other way, right? There's literally no other way to do it, other than knowing how it works, I suppose. There's got to be a, a book for this, right? That extreme reactors. Oh, is this the one that we had to, like... Oh, you can craft it. Okay, we'll make that. So, I'm not going to do the turbine because we don't need to. Don't really need to know how to build it, how to build the uh, the thingy there. Other stuff. Oh yeah, I made one of these as well. Um, that is all the stuff we need. Oh, you and fluidizer as well, the the big one. Okay, so we'll have that one, and then this is what. All the stuff we need for the uh, the other reactor. So let's pop back over. Oh shit, it's down in it. Let's pop down here. So this thing here we can get rid of. Don't need this anymore. Even well, the small one at least. This we kind of still need. Hopefully it's still empty. It is indeed. Lovely. We need uh, the magentite to go in here. And I think Magentite, from what I remember, Magentite is a, uh, just like Cyanite for Uranium, Magentite is for Plutonium, I think. It, it's like the, the byproduct you get. So we do need to make a, oh, flipping heck, I ruined all of those. That's fine. Anyway, we need to make a reactor. So this is the, the reactor that we're going to make. And uh, I'm just going to slap it down, and then we'll reconvene after. Right, again, this is... Uh, go and watch my guide, basically. But this is the reactor that I ended up building. And I believe we can set this to eject the fluid. What is this called? Reactor fuel injection port. And I think this is, like, the fluid version. I, I might have got those the wrong way around. Well, this one says solid access. This one just says fuel injection so yeah basically we put some plutonium in here in fact let's do that now plutonium 
Oh, I wonder if we can do blocks. Can I put a block in here? Oh, I can. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, just get 64 blocks, put those in. There we go. Um, turn this on. And again, why are we not getting any waste? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Um, I had the graphite blocks in there. And I think it's to do with this. So you see it's got like uh, the depleted. And it's this thing down here. How heavily irradiated the core is. High levels of radiation. Yeah, just uh, reduces the fuel burn up. I think we need to, this to be at least like 99. And for some reason it's at 100. So it's using all of the fuel that we've got right here. Is this stupidly efficient? I need to change this. Uh, how do I change the burn rate? Ah, never mind, never mind. The reason we can't see it on here is because it's actually going into this, the waste. Now, here's the big thing. We're going to get a pipe and we're going to... Oh, we've got a pipe already. We're going to see if this will go into the extreme reactor. Oh, and it is. Oh, yes. There was a massive issue of this in All the Mods 9, like the original All the Mods 9, because... For some reason, there was like an extra tag or something, which the Extreme Reactors did not like. So anyway, we need Magentite. So the Magentite, I believe, turns it into... Yeah, we need 1,000 millibuckets. So we need 9,000 millibuckets all together to get the Radicolite. So because we need only a, one block of Radicolite, right? Makes sense? And then we use the Radicolite B on a Ludocrite B. And we get ourselves the inanite, and then we use the inanite B on the radicolite B, and then we get the insanite. Okay, this makes sense. No, it doesn't. It kind of does. Oh, there's a lot of like um, making of bees in this episode. So all of the bees come from the cyanite B. So if we want to get five of each of these bees, let's say, so we want five cyanite. So that's five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. So we need 30 bees, 30 cyanite bees altogether because you upgrade this one to the plutonium. You upgrade the plutonium to the ludocrite. Ludocrite goes to inanite. Although we also want the radicolite, which comes from... Oh, crap. We need the magentite then. Um, do we, though? And that is a point. Can we just make a block of inanite? Because we can go from ludicrite straight over. Oh, but we need one radicolite to get to ludicrite. No, to the in. Oh my goodness. So yes, we do need to make this uh, magentite one. Which is fine. I think we can use... Is it the fluidizer? Can we use it the other way around? To basically change the magentite. Aha, thank you Reddit. Reddit is the one that told me for this one. Uh, the way that this works now is instead of uh, the reactor... I thought that was Magentite then. That was such an annoying... Anyway, instead of using one of these, one of the, the waste tanks or whatever they're called, the injection ports, we just add another one of these solid access ports like we did on a regular one, right? And then when the waste builds up all the way... So where it says empty waste right now, it should build all the way up, and when you get a thousand millibuckets, it will turn into an ingot of magentite. Good to know. Good to know. Um, we still need like nine thousand millibuckets, or nine buckets of uh, magentite anyway in here. So, oh, we can get some ludicrite and turn it into a decalite now. Uh, we only need nine though, from what I can see. So we're gonna stick nine in like that. Oh, no, wait, we need 18. We need another 9. Let me do that. Because I forgot you need double. There you go. So that has got us our first Radicolite. Lovely. So I think I'm not being an idiot when it comes to extreme reactors. There is quite a lot of, like, trying to figure stuff out. JEI is not your friend when it comes to extreme reactors. Or I should say extreme reactors is not friends with JEI, from what I can see. Just doesn't like it. In some situations, like, for example, I know we need to get, uh, what is it, inanite, which needs rosinite. 
but there's no way of getting Rossonite. So you have to Google Ross in, or, you know, JEI Google. And then you go to the reactant version of it, which comes from the extreme reactor. Uh, so in this case, it's the reinforced reactor that we're going to use. And then you have to get some of this verdurium. And the verdurium comes from, if we, no, is it this one, the reactant? Okay, that one, there we go. Uh, you can use either the fluid mixing in the fluidizer of yellorium and plutonium, or you can use the solid version. So this is what we're gonna do to get our verdurium, is plutonium and uranium get us verdurium, okay? Does that make sense? I hope so. Probably doesn't make sense thinking about it. Anyway, um, I'm waiting for this. Is it, did we get any more yet? Oh, this thing's proper slow, isn't it? Wonder, I wonder if we should have made a bigger version of this. I don't want to do anything yet. Oh, you know what? Let's take this out and let's just make a bigger version. Hey, there we go. There's a good stream right That That sounds wrong, doesn't it? But that, that, that should work right there by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting it. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to do this like a bucket at a time. Hmm. I suppose when this gets to 10, I can just take out all of the ludicrate that's in there. And then let this fill up. And then put all of the, like, disconnect this completely. And then let this do the 10. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. Right, we've got enough in here now. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. I've got it on me. There we go. Slap it in there. This will get get us all of the radicolite that we need. And I've swapped this now over to a uh, solid access point. So with the solid access point, this should now be giving us waste. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's nearly done, actually. Are we going to get one? Come on. And... There we go, we've got magentite ingot. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Uh, we're gonna need nine of these again, I believe, right? Or do we need, no, we need 18. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can get 18 of these, that'd be good. Um, there's all the radicolite we need, love it. Make ourselves a block of radicolite. Oh yeah, I probably only needed eight then. Oh well, there we go, we've got a block of radicolite. So for the radicolite B, we need the magentite B. That's the badger. So, oh, poo. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, because we only need two of the magentite blocks. Yes, I got this now. Because then we can make more magentite using the magentite blocks. Okie dokie, that makes sense. I, I'm probably... Where do we do this? Okay, there you go. There's the comb. So I'm going to use this to uh, bookmark everything so it's like in line with these. There we go. So now they're up here as well. So we know that we need those. Anyway, we can get one of them to turn a plutonium bee into a magentite bee. And then uh, we can use the, the magentite bee to get more magentite. And that way we don't have to use this. Lovely. Okay. We still need to wait for this to actually like process, I suppose. That's fine, because that's quite quick. Uh, it's a relatively quick, right? We still need to make like a ton more bees anyway, so I'm going to be using this this time right now to convert all of these uh, these bees into... Uh, all, all of these samples into bees. And I think that is the last one right there. So we could technically... Can we void all of this? Void reactants. There we go. Oh, cool. It, it instantly made us another one. Fair enough. Okay. So we voided all of that plutonium. We put in like loads of plutonium there, but I seriously don't mind that we did that. Because now what we can do is we can do one of those and we can convert one of these bees. Let's get a bee cage just, just in case. So we can convert this one and get ourselves the magentite bee. 
Lovely. I don't know why these aren't quests. I feel like these should be quests, if, if I'm honest, but meh. So, uh, oh yeah, and we need to make the magentite thing right there. Oh, okay. I'm going to remove this one. Oh no, we need this one still, because we are converting all of our cyanite bees over to plutonium bees. We actually don't need that much more, I don't believe. I think we need another four. How many have we got in here? <gasps> four. Really? Okay, we've got all of the bees I need now. Right, we got a lot of uh, magentite now. So I'm going to just convert all of the plutonium bees that I had. And I also put very high metaton any on all of the plutonium bees that I have. Magentite, magentite, there's plutonium. That one, that one, there we go. And then last plutonium. That one. Oh, poo, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's grab one more bee cage. We can do that, that, that. And now we have five. But I've also left this running for a little bit. Is this the right one? No, wrong one. I've got too many of these travel anchors. Now I might have to like rejig that. But I can put this in here. There you go. And we're going to get a load of uh, combs. In fact, these, these are probably going to start backing up at some point. Oh, maybe not. This one's sort of dealing with it. There you go. That one's getting loads now as well. Um, also, I think I need... Wait, no, this should be enough, right? Because we've got the magentite now. We just need to convert these into blue. And then... Um, oh, no, we need radicolite. So we do need five more. Flip an egg. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's how long I've been away. I went for a, a bit of a walk with the doggo. And, yeah, I need to, yeah, gene samples. So, we need the magel, oh my goodness, we need magentite ones to go through this. So, that means we need to start squishing. We can't really squish these. I mean, we can. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. Because, um, we're going to have to make loads of cyanite bees. Because you need to do it via the egg, I believe. Oh, we never found out if you could breed plutonium bees together. Did we? I wonder. I wonder if we could do that. Okay, let me grab some bee cages. One and two. And then if I put these through here. Okay, wait for this one to finish and then I'll put these through in. Right, here we go. So this one and this one. You can make the plutonium bees. That means we don't need the cyanide bees, I don't think, anymore. I'm gonna put them. I'll put them up here, so we don't don't forget about them. But plutonium is the way to go from now on. I mean, technically, we only need one of these, right? Yeah, we only need one of the uh, magentite bee thingy. That makes sense. Oh yeah, this is gonna turn into. Okay, we need to turn this off because we need to. Convert all of these, all of these, uh, these bees, the plutonium bees, into magentite bees, and then squish them. Right, we managed to get one magentite bee, and I believe we have to ludocrite, and we've got our ludocrite one over here. Stick that in there, and eventually we will get ourselves a radicolite one. I'm also uh, getting more ludocrite bees. Uh, those are gone. Oh, okay. So we can put these ones in as well. The ludicrite ones, I believe, turn into the inanoite, and then, is it the inanoite ones that turn into... Okay, how do I make these ones again? Ah, oh, you're kidding me. We need loads more ri ri ridiculite ones. And they don't breed amongst themselves. Okay, why do you do this? Um, fine. Uh, we're going to have to get a load of plutonium bees. And then turn them into magentite, as we have been doing. And then we're going to get a bunch of those. Oh, I'm an idiot. It doesn't say that these can't breed amongst themselves. Oh my goodness. Why do we do this? Flipping neck. Fine. Um, I could just take two of these um, magentite bees and get them to be squished. <laughs> Why do I do this? 
one and two, and then we could just put them through this instead. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, one and two. It's plutonium magentite. Magentite. That makes magentite bees flipping heck. Right, we're getting close now. We just need some inanite. Uh, we got the radicolite, didn't we? Yeah. So we need some inanite and we need some insanite. So we got the inanite bees. One. So I'm going to grab all of these if I can. Let's do it this way. And there we go. So I am going to obviously boost these up with uh, a few of the, the treats that we've got. And then. Yeah, I suppose that we just have to get these two things, the inanite and insanite, which we can do. Whilst that's doing that, let's uh, let's set up the fluidizer. So this one over here has nothing in it right now, which is great. This is what we're going to use. In fact, we don't need any solid access ports. Right, there we go. We got the two fluid ports. So this one's an outlet. So again, we can get our pipe from mechanism back. Let me put that. Oh, we've already got it. Stick that there and use our configurator. And we literally just need rosinite. So we are going to, maybe we put this at the back. Maybe at the side, actually. On the side is probably a better idea. Let's put it here. Stick that there. And we can finally do something with this fluidizer that we've got in our inventory. So one, two, three. Four, five. I believe it's a five by five. I didn't check if I'm honest, but we better go. It looks like it might be. And I think it's only it's either two tall or it's three tall. Or four tall in this case. I think this is how many we need. Looks about right, doesn't it? And then Yeah, and then we need an output, which is going to be over here. And why do we have the fluid injectors? We want the other injectors, don't we? So, okay, fluidizer. Solid injectors, they're the ones we actually want. I don't know if I've got any solid, we've got one f solid injector. Okay, that's a fluid, oh my goodness. So solid injector, do one of those. Actually, we need two of these, right? So I'm going to put one here, one here. And we could literally put stuff in, in here. And then we just need a power. So I'm going to power it right there. And then the rest, I think we just fill in. One, two. Air is not a valid block fluidizer. Oh, in the middle. Does that work? Hey, it's worked. Nice. So what we can do here, uh, we turn it on for one thing. If we give this some power, some power into this, lovely. Now all we need to do is uranium. We get some uranium. Let's get a stack of uranium. And then I think it's plutonium. And we can get half a stack of plutonium. Stick that in, stick that in. And that gets us verdurium. Durium, lovely. And then we can just pipe that into this one. So pipe goes in like that. And I think that's everything we need to do, except turn this on. Ah, okay. I think it's the fuel injection port we need to plonk down. Are you accepting? Dur, 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 dur. Inlet. Hey, 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 hey. It's making us some. Turning it on, and we should. We're getting loads of waste out of this. That's really good. Ah, how do we get this out, though? Do, oh, we might need another one of these. Let's try it. Ah, wrong one. There you go. Right, so breaking that. Plonking that down. Send to outlet, and there we go. We're getting the Rossinite. And that was really quick as well. Brilliant. Uh, 50k, that's pretty good. 50k is not bad. Nice. Right, anyway, what are we doing with this? Uh, we need to first off get some in anite. 
which is um, Ridiculite. So, re is it, how do you spell it? It's with an I, isn't it? Ridiculite. There we go. So, we need nine of those. And then we also need for the Insanite, 16 times nine. So, that's how many we're going to need for the uh, Insanite. So, we can slap this in up here. And that will turn into the Inanite. Oh, crap. Actually, we need we need a double double this, don't we? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we can do that. That's fine. Uh, because uh, the inanite, uh, no, the insanite block needs an inanite block. I think that makes sense. Ish. Stick that there. Right, how much of the rossonite have we got? Not much. Uh, did you stop as well? I feel like you stopped for some reason. Um, On. Okay. Outlet mode, and there we go. That's all working again. Um, about that, we got an anti ingot in here, and we got quite a lot of them. I think I'll show you what what's happened with that. Uh, before we do that, let's get the insanite, and I'll show you what I, uh, how you do this. So you just lob that in, and then you get the insanite, and that is that one done, and that's the most annoying one out of all of the, like, the things from uh, the ATM star. In my opinion, that's the most annoying one. Oh, and for some reason I'm making nine instead of eight, and I know that I should be just using eight, but, so, yeah, it's a, it's a block, isn't it? So, in my head, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, these don't explode, by the way, so don't worry about those. Um, pop back up here. The reason we're getting loads of inanite is because... Oh, crap. Re... No. Okay, B. We already got some insanite bees. That's that's not good. That shouldn't be how it works, if I'm honest. Um, it's because it it transferred, it transported... Oh, I just did it again. There you go. We're still getting combs because it's got these, uh, these bee spawn eggs in there. That's a bug. Pun intended. So, anyway, let's get some in... Anite. So we'll we get a couple of these uh, on the go. Uh, okay, we only need the one. So pretend like that was in there the entire time. Yeah, we got some in Anite. Anyway, that's going to get us uh, a couple of insanite bees. And again, we are going to want to have to put these on there, these honey treats. And to make... So when, you can get these by... Uh, yeah, by doing that. But... We also needed this bee. So technically, we could get rid of all of these bees. So this one, this one, this one. We can get rid of all of them. In fact, we'll probably do that. I'll um I'll take away, like, all of this. Or, you know, take all the bees out. And we'll just store them for now. And the only two bees we need are the... Uh, insanite and Inanite. I swear I have another one of these somewhere. Oh, I just didn't put it in. Flipping egg. Go and there's the last bee. Beautiful. Okay, so I've uh, cleared out all of the bees from these ones right here. I've even removed the feeding slab stuff over here and here and here. And we've got the insanite bees now. And I put all of the very high any metaternals. Oh my goodness, flying around the room. Uh, so we're getting the inanite coming through. I have enough of the insanite to make a block of it, and I'm going to put that right there. And that is going to make us some more. Because these bees can actually finally feed on something. Oh, right, that was that was an effort. Effort and a half. Now I've got to do that all again. But with uh, crystalline bees. So, now. Now is the time that we're going to go off and do some awakened supremium bees. So we're going to do... I'm going to do how I laid out here. So it goes... Ah, oh, to be fair, it's not an ingot, is it? It's this. Do you get this from the bee? Yeah, you do. Okay. So, this, then the egg. Yeah, and then the bee. And then we also want to do the same with Insanium bee. Oh, hello. There it is, Insanium bee. So, again, we want to do this, then the egg, which is there. 
and then the B. This one's going to be way easier, and you know why? Because I already completed the episode, uh, and it's been a few days, and whilst I was doing all the editing and, you know, just uh, doing nothing, basically, what I've been doing is uh, I've got two crystalline bees in here, making us lots and lots of crystalline 100%. I've already made those into bees. I've made them into prospera bees, pros terra bees, and I squished them. So I made like 40 prospera bees, squished them all up and got myself 10 of the spawn eggs. The spawn eggs is what you need because each one of these comes from one of the prospera bees spawn eggs. Awesome. So, right, we're going to pop in here and I'm going to set up a quickie modular router to do like, you know, one, two, three, four, and then another one, one, two, three, four, and then... Um, I'll just manually put them. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll definitely do one for the middle so I don't accidentally misclick. All right, I think I've got everything. So we're going to put 40 in here, 40 in here, and that's going to make us. It should be 10. It should be 10 of the uh, uh, Inferium B. And then what we do it. Oh, you know what? We could have used this as like a push and a pull, but I oh, know we couldn't. No. Oh, well. Anyway. What we can do is leave this now and it will make us 10 Inferium Bees. And then I just put in the next set of stuff and so on and so on. Yeah, look at that. We've automated it even more right there. So I've got a, uh, obviously the modular router, which is pulling from here, pulling from here as well, all lined up. And then this one is just pulling from this one over here. <laughs> so when this is empty, it will grab all 10 that have been pulled out already and Send them over there. I got really confused because I was like, ah, it's not pulling the one out from the middle. But it is. It's just putting it back in straight away. So when this is done, you'll see that it will put the tertium B back in. Uh, we've got a little bit of time yet, but yeah, that'll be good. And then once it's done with the tertium, it should pull the next in the row, which is Imperium. And uh, it will just continue on. And then it should even go all the way to Insanium. See, I didn't even touch it and it just turned into Imperium. Love it. Anyway, there is the Supremium B, which we are going to take half of. Or we're going to take the rest of these. Those are the Insanium ones. The, we need these. These are these are done now. Uh, but the Supremium... Oh, we need a flipping block for it as well. So I do need to go make some more <laughs> Waken Supremium. Uh, fine. Anyway, well, we've got four right here. I'll make some more blocks in a minute. But for now, I'm going to just quickly do one of those and stick one of the bees in. And we get self awakened Supremium B. I'm going to capture all of these. Oh, it's gone over there. Um, I'm going to capture all of these bees and put max stats on them. And then we'll be back when I am done. Do you know what's really sad? You know what? I'm going to do it now. Um, we don't need any of this now. We don't need a single like tickle from this whatsoever. Nothing, nothing is needed because we're not going to do anything with the reactor. I don't need the power because we're going to get infinite power when we can. Uh, and I don't plan on using it whatsoever. <laughs> so sorry, extreme reactors, but uh, yeah, you are no longer needed. In fact, I'm at the point. Oh, flipping it. Got so much stuff in my inventory right here. I want the white concrete. There it is. I'm at the point now where I'm actually thinking, do we just turn the bees off as well? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take them off the uh, the babbling there. So, the, oh, flipping it. These will still produce honeycombs uh, until they're full up. And then they just, it won't produce anymore, will it? And they'll just stay in there forever. Whoa, we got some Awakened Supremium from that already. That's actually going to be really slow. It might be worth me just doing the kills, honestly. To get all of the Awakened Supremium. Uh, fine, I'll do that. And we are done. We have got five Awakened Supremium Bees. Five Insanium Bees. All max stats as well, by the way. And uh, these are turned off. Because we don't need these anymore. I was thinking about it. Maybe we just did... We, we should have just done the one in Anite and in Sanite. So we don't need them now. So it wasn't really, it was definitely worth it because it's way quicker than actually setting everything up using the reactors and stuff. Plus the reactors didn't work at one point and it was really frustrating. So using the bees was probably a really good idea, especially in 
Um, ATM 9, the like main series, let's say. Just bees fixes everything, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyway, there we go. We got ourselves the uh, Awaken Supreme and bees, and we got ourselves Insane and bees as well. I'm going to call it here for today, so thank you for watching. Thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So, statistics, not done this in a bit, but apparently we're on 6.57 days, which is 157 hours and 41 minutes, according to ChatGPT. So, yeah, the last time that I, I think the last time we checked in on Time Played, I was at six days, and that was maybe one or two episodes ago, but that means that we've done... Basically over 12 hours since uh, the, the last time we checked in, which I'm not sure exactly when that was, but I'm sure you guys could tell me. That's quite a lot, and it's probably just bees if I'm honest. I like bees.